Good morning, everybody. Mr. House Shipper here. Hey, so I wanted to bring you a video just to kind of give you guys some information. I'm all about educating my, my, my buyers and making sure that uh, if there's anything they can do on their own, I would love for them to do it to save money. Um, so I wanted to talk to you about footers. Footers is what the house and the foundation rests on. Um, laying out the footers is something very simple that you can do. Um, it does cost for someone else to come do it for you. So I figured I can educate you guys on laying that out. Um, and that way you don't have to bear that cost or, or, or have that cost of having someone else do it. So again, your footers is what uh, the house and the foundation rests on. If it's a double wide, then you've got piers and you've got pier holes for the footers and your um, actual piers rest on the footers underneath. Um, every house has a footer diagram or a footer plan. This particular one is for a double wide. You've got the pier holes in the middle. Um, it's a 76 foot double wide, a 76 foot box. Uh, usually they're 28 or 30 wide. Uh, but again, the footer plan shows you where to bore the holes for the footers and where to pour the concrete for the support walls and just for the support overall. I have my handy, what I call my stringer box. In that box, you're going to have things like spray paint, uh, tape measure, a hammer. Usually, you're going to want stakes, and you're going to need string. Um, and this is to string lots off, string footers off, string homes off, anything that you need, that it's, it's, you're able to do it with that box. So, obviously, the first thing you're going to want to do is locate the, the or, or pin out the location of the home, which is what we do first. Uh, you get in your box and you start with the with the with the main corner of where you want the house to be, uh, and you stake that corner, and you've got four corners to work at from there. So, um, once you get that stake in the front corner of where you know you want uh, one of the corners of the house to set, then again you go from there. You tie that string along it. Um, and then you just pull that string from one front corner or back corner to the other one. So again, this particular house was a 76 footer. So we pulled 76 foot from one front corner to the other. Um, and that's what we have across the front now is a 76 foot front of the home. Then from there, guys, it's a lot of stake putting in, a lot of string pulling, and a lot of uh, a lot of tape measuring just to make sure that you've got everything um, measured right. You've got to make sure you've got the front and the back and the sides measured correctly. Um, then you've got to go in and square the box up, meaning make sure it's an actual square or rectangle. Um, square is just a phrase that, that, that we use. But you've got to make sure this is a specific footer plan for a specific size home. So you can't go out there and be six inches, 10 inches off. Six inches is okay, up to six inches. But if you get 10 inches off, then you're, you're, you're in trouble. So you've got an eight inch block um, and you've got to make sure that that eight inch block fits on that footer. In order to do that, again, you've got to string the sides and the front pretty precise, other than uh, give or take six inches or so. Uh, so again, after pulling all the string and, and, and pulling the measurements and, and uh, cross-referencing the, uh, with the two tape measures cross-referencing the uh, box we've got the box um uh, the box squared up and we are ready to actually um do the final stake on the footers and do the spray paint for the uh, for the final footers so once everything's staked off what we do is we go in and we spray on top of the grass the orange marker so just in case the string gets pulled up or while the guy's digging the footers, he can go by the marker instead of the string, which will be moved. Um, this all ensures that the foundation that we straight, sting, uh, straight stake off stays correct in the measurements that we have. Um, and there you have it, guys. It's just that simple. You get the footer diagram. Uh, you pull those st uh, strings off. Usually good to do it with two, two people, but you pull those measurements off. Um, you square it up. And then what you'll do is you'll go in on the piers, and you'll measure those piers and start spraying the piers in the middle. And what you'll have in the end is a final layout. You're going to have a box. Uh, then you're going to have your pier footers sprayed in the middle. Sometimes folks do a, uh, for the pier, sometimes folks do a just a circle. Sometimes folks do an X. Sometimes folks do a line with a stripe in the middle. It, just, it doesn't matter what you do as long as you dictate or uh, show where the middle of that, that auger bit should touch and the middle of the footer should be. Um, you, you know, other than that, you just make sure that it's dug in the right place. 
Um, hopefully this makes sense to you guys. Hopefully it'll give you a better understanding of how the footers are laid out for the home. And you can successfully do it yourself. So what you're gonna have in the end is you're gonna have a full perimeter footer and then you're gonna have those middle pier footers. Um, all this is based on the footer diagram that you were given or that you will be given. Um, and again, it saves you 450 to 600 dollars on having somebody else go out and do it, a surveyor or a uh, footer guy. Um, you don't have to spend that money if you if you're okay and confident with doing it and laying it out yourself. Again, this is a look at laying out pier and perimeter footers for a manufactured home. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Come back and watch more. Bye-bye.